about to get ready to pour this gray beam tomorrow. It's approximately two feet high, two and a half feet wide. We got about 14 piers in here. I'll show another video on that. They're about 12 feet deep, two feet in diameter. All rebar is number four and number five. The rings are number four, and we got the number fives going through it. So basically every 20 feet, there's 10 number fives kind of making the cage connect. And we also have these L's here that's coming up that's about 12 inches on center throughout. So ideally we'll pour a retaining wall, monolithic, but with this one, I didn't really want to take a chance because you can kind of see the hillside coming down. So it's going to be a lot of concrete, a lot of pressure, even though I know we staked it pretty well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pour the gray beam first, and then we're going to come back and build the wall on top of that. This part is 160 feet long on this part. No, 115 feet long. So this total wall here will be about 300 feet. This is kind of the first phase here. So I'm gonna walk it out with you guys here. So you see what we have. This one took us a little longer to build just because of this curve here. And we use one by 12s instead of normally we'll use two by 12s. So hopefully when we strip the footing, we'll be able to use these one by 12s for the wall as well. Keep walking here. That's what we have, you can see. Again, the rings on this uh, gray beam is eight inches on center. And we use number four for the rings and number five coming through, which is approximately 12 inches on center. I'm gonna make a little behind the scenes video, or you might catch it in our shorts on how we kind of put it together in our YouTube shorts. So if you see that coming through your feed, you should have liked those as well. So here we go. Coming up, this wall is gonna be about six to seven feet high. We got about two to three feet of fill to fill in for this driveway. It's gonna be an asphalt driveway, I believe. So yeah, so here we go. So we're pouring it, we're pouring it to here. Then we're gonna put some more um, number five so we can continue to build. This will be the second phase. We're about to put these piers in. I'll show you a separate video for that. But this is the gray bean. We're gonna pour it tomorrow. And then we're gonna start building on Monday or Tuesday, hopefully. Try to get it done before Thanksgiving. show you guys how we went about build uh, cutting and bending the rebar in another video you might catch a glimpse of it here but overall this is what we have again we built them out of one by 12s as opposed to two by 12s because we had to get this little curve here It wasn't hard, it just took a lot of time. Kind of went crazy on the stakes as well. All right, we're about to get to it.
right, so we got the gray bean pour. All right, and we made it out of pretty much one by 12s as opposed to two by 12s. We did use the two by 12s here because it was a nice straight run. But as you can see down here, it started having a curve. So we used one by 12s. Used a lot of steaks. I probably went through 20, 32 by fours because just didn't want to take a chance of, uh, of it busting open and losing it. So here's the nice curve. Got to give a shout out to my guy, JD. He kind of came up with a nice template. You can check the last video on how we came up to make this curve nice and pretty. It's about 120 feet. It is two and a half feet wide, 24 inches thick. These rebar that's coming up is number five, 12 inches on center. We got a cage down there that's eight inches on center and we use number four for the stirrups and we put number fives through them as well. So it's probably about a good two tons of rebar in this part alone. Well, let me get that number for you guys. I'm not sure, but it's a good half a ton to two tons of rebar. So there you go. All this will be backfilled. This wall is going to be about six, maybe seven feet high. To kind of close out the driveway. The driveway, you got to come up a couple feet, bring it over. So yeah, that's the gray beam installed. I mean poured, we poured it on Saturday. We stripped it yesterday, which was Monday. And today we're gonna to start framing it and putting the rebar for the wall. To try to get this thing poured Friday or Saturday. Get ready for the next step. We keep moving.